Obviously, my name being Palisa, I've got such a soft spot for flowers and I'm, of course, obsessed with all of Bloom Boy's work. So I'm definitely going to be trying those for mommy this weekend. Now, there is great difficulty in finding a South African who does not have a sweet taste for the traditional malva pudding. Now, give yourself a treat with this delicious recipe as a reward for casting your vote today. There is no better point of order. So SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe sent to your device. SMS's costs one rand fifty, and free SMS's do not apply. Now, Chef I, I know yeah. we've been through this before. Yeah. We know that malva pudding is always a win in any household, I think. And especially in South Africa, it holds such a special place in our So hearts. much, eh? So much. Yeah, but it's got so many ingredients. I'm kind of overwhelmed where do we begin? But you'd be surprised. Most of the, well, if not all of them, you'll find them in your house. It's stuff that you always have, but you don't use them for mother pudding. Okay. So yeah. um, we're going to start off with our sugar and butter. So we creamed our sugar and butter already here. Mm -hmm. And then when it's nice and creamy, you add your, 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 your eggs in. So this is like your egg, your sugar. Beautiful. Yeah. So look how beautiful this looks. And then you add your gem, your apricot gem. So I think, you know, most of the time when you enjoy your mother pudding, what makes it so nice, it's mm. the, it's the um, mix of the apricot gem, the sweet and sour come from, coming from the vinegar. Yeah. So I personally feel like the beautiful flavor of delicate of this dessert comes from that. And then you mix this together. That balance of Yeah, flavors, yeah, nice. yeah. So you mix this together. Okay. And then I'm going to add my flour here. So okay, I normally let's try not make a mess in the kitchen. So Let me help you. So normally you, 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 you'll sift it. So it's just flour and, and, and salt. And okay. then while you're doing that, you put half of it. So I'm, yeah, just put half of it. And then I'm going to put my bakob in your the, milk. Yeah, in my milk, just Why? to dissolve it quickly. So it kind of works better. It's it's in liquid, and then when you're spreading it in your in your in your, in your thing in, in your mixer, it okay. kind of spreads very well. Nice. So look at that. Coming together very yeah. nice. Yeah. So can you please stay there for me while I, while you're doing that? I'm gonna quickly make the sauce for our malva pudding. So okay. our sauce for the malva pudding is our cream. You add your cream in here. Nice. Your butter and your vanilla essence with your sugar in it. So you must very important to use um, brown sugar because you know you're also looking for that nice beautiful color in your sauce. Nice. And most yes, yes. most people like to add um, citrusy in it, which I don't mind doing. If you like your citrus, you can add uh, uh, um, an orange peel okay. or a lemon peel. So you're free to play with your flavors, especially with yeah, the sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while the sauce is getting ready, there we're gonna finish off that. Okay. So then, what do I add here again? So I I'm gonna be adding. Milk. I'm gonna add the milk with the bicarb. So, yep. You mix that, and the most important part, it's the vinegar. So a lot of people oh, were like, the first time I also made um, malva pudding, I was like, the vinegar. But it also helps it to turn brown. You see, the, the, when you're having a malva pudding, you kind of have a nice, smooth, brown colored um, malva pudding, which yeah. also comes from the bicarb and the vinegar. So it's Brilliant. very important to have it. More, a little more. Milk. Do I add the second half of this? You can Is add all of safe that. To yeah, it? it's very safe. Okay. Look at and of you. course, pairing this with a delicious clover classic custard. I mean, finding out from you viewers at home, everyone resoundingly says that they absolutely love to pair the clover classic custard with a malva pudding. I think it's a South African favorite. I mean, I don't really know where it started, why South Africans love malva pudding so much, but we kind of just have a taste for it. Yeah, I mean, you know, malva pudding has always been there, and but you know who made it famous? Who? Oprah. Our daughter, Mama Oprah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she ser <laughs> she served it um, uh, in 2006 for um, her academic stuff for the yes. for the kids, for the girls. The young and then, girls. Yeah, and then her private chef decided to make it for the kids, and then from there she went out talking about it overseas, and then the next thing, yeah, we hear. Malva pudding booming in South Africa. I love that. So okay. now we're done with it. We're just gonna pour it in our greased um, ramekins. So you can grease them with butter, or you can use um, spain cook for it. Okay. Let's do that quickly, and then we have a tray next to you with water bath. So the water bath also, like we all, like I always say, it helps with it cooking evenly. Okay, so we kind of put it you in put the water it in bath. There, yeah, and then you just bake it in the oven, 180 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Easy peasy. Yeah. And once it's done, obviously it'll come looking it golden brown, that, yeah. delicious. And to make sure that it is cooked right the way through, just take a simple toothpick, poke it through, just like, like this. If nothing comes out like ours has, it is ready, it is good to go. So we're going to continue to poke holes through the entire malva pudding. And also with poking holes when you make malva pudding while it's still hot, it's not only to check um, if it's cooked or not, it's also to help the sauce seep go in. in. Exactly, because you I want the nice trick. gooey. You know, and you must also do it while it's still hot. Okay, Check. so we put our sauce all there over you that. Go. There you go. Let it seep in, let the sponge completely absorb the sauce, making it so nice and moist, ready to enjoy, of course, with our Clover Classic Custard. Show us at home you enjoying your Clover Classic Custard with your Malva Pudding. We'd love to see you enjoying this, this election day, of course. Now remember to SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this traditionally South African recipe sent to your device. Now, if you need to see this one more time, here's a quick recap.
made with love by clover 